Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel, Convos and Moments with Chanel. And today we are going to be doing a replenishment cash stuffing to two of my binders. And let's see what we're working with today. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. And if you don't know my replenishment binders, these particular binders for this purpose is for replenishment that I will be doing in November around the elections. I just have some little tidbits and things that I want to get. So I made my goal into three different binders, one being one for BJ's, Walmart, and also Dollar Tree. The two that I will be stuffing today is going to be my Dollar Tree one and also my BJ's one. And I'm actually going to complete one today. So let me go into my budget binder, see what the contribution is going to be. And it looks like to my, let's see, let's see what we're working with. It looks like to my Dollar Tree binder, which is going to be the orange one. It has $2 denominations. We're going to be putting $6 into that one today. And then the remaining $14 is going to go into my BJ's binder. So let's stuff the $6. So let's get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And is anyone else going to do some replenishments around the elections? I am in the U.S., particularly New York. So I just have some extra things that I want to get. So I have some gold amounts. So let's separate the $2 for the six. And if you don't know, I got these little cute binders from Dollar Tree and it has 60 pages. So I basically tape two pages together to make pockets and I put the money upright so I could just slide it out. And we're going to be stuffing $2 into each one. So it looks like we're going to be stuffing 12, 13, and 14. Okay. So I'm going to be almost finished with this one. Each slot has 30 slots. So we're ending this one on the 14th slot so we will be stuffing the 15th slot next time and then we'll just have to complete 15 through 30. so this one is coming along put that to the side and then the remaining 14 is going to basically be going into this one so that should stuff pocket number 17 through 30. so i'm just going to do that and basically talk a little bit so basically the reason why i made these replenishment binders is because i didn't want to be overwhelmed with just using my credit card now it's possible that i might go to the store and for like bj's i think my goal was just to spend 30. now when i go there i might spend 40 or 50 but at least i have the majority in cash because i'm the type of person like I know everybody, they do their financial journey different. Some people, once they get debt free or they learn how to budget, they don't like to use credit cards at all. Me, I'm not going to lie. I love credit cards. I just really learn how to deal with them. Once you get the fact in your head that credit is basically borrowed money and don't get too happy with it, you kind of get a gauge on it. Now, the thing is life is so unpredictable and has so many issues a lot of times we have to use them for emergencies and that catches up with us in the worst ways and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to really get into cash stuff and because i've always paid my bills on time but i don't want to get overwhelmed when stuff either increases or things are on my plate that i wasn't expecting so that's why i'm starting to get more into cash stuffing and if you watch my videos you will see that i cashed up some of my categories of bills because a lot of my bills they are honestly are on auto pay and that just works for me but to each their own i used to hate auto pay but once you budget your money and you know exactly what's coming out and you get real disciplined you kind of really don't care 
So you just go back and make sure the money came out your account and everything is all right. But that's how I do mine. And we are stuffing the last envelope to complete this one. And I'll probably do that too. When I go to the three stores, I probably will bring my receipt and actually see what I bought to the store versus what I actually spent. So we will see. And if you're not familiar, my goal for each of the stores was in BJ's. I'm just getting two to three items. So my goal for that is $30. Dollar Tree, my goal is $60. And then for Walmart, that's going to be a larger shopping trip. And that's going to equal around $360. So wish me luck. Looks like we finished one binder already. And that is basically my bj's one so we have the 30 dollars in single so that one is complete so we're just going to be working on my dollar tree challenge and also my walmart all right y'all as always happy budgeting